nerds, it's Tiri. Welcome back to my show. Starting off the show today, giving some media shout outs of fans and fictions that have been written and created, inspired by their love of World of Warcraft. First up, the new World of Warcraft story, Untamed Valley, written by Robert Brooks. It is the seventh Pandaria faction story, and it tells about the struggles the Tillers went through trying to protect their farms and their homes during all of the battles that are going on in Pandaria. It also gives a little bit of background on how important they are feeding everyone and being the general backbone. I mean, you can't have a society without food. So there's that. Next up, Carpet Animations premieres WowCraft, episode one, The Creation. It's about a poor orc who's just trying to start his life in the world of Warcraft and just runs into all of these obstacles. It's very cute and sad, more cute than sad. Check it out in the link below. Carpet Animations is a very creative. If you guys ever need like a voice person, you know, I, I've i always been interested in being a voiceover actress. If you're anything like my cousin Dodger and Hydras are one of your favorite mythical creatures, I mean, one of your favorite RL animals. Be excited to play a hunter, come Warlords of Draenor for World of Warcraft, because we have seen that we should be able to tame Hydras as hunters. Last week on Twitter, we saw a response from Joey Wallace, professions designer for World of Warcraft, to a question asking, will Spirits of Harmony become BOE come 6.0? And he said, maybe sooner. A lot of people are glad to hear about that because, you know, the alts and their professions and all that stuff. Your main probably didn't need all of those Spirit of Harmonies that are sitting in their bank. Just guessing because they're sitting in your bank. So hopefully soon you'll be able to send them to your alts. Curse.com is giving away 300,000 Wildstar beta keys. Curse Premium members can go and get their keys now from Curse.com. I will link below. Come Thursday, us non-premium Curse members can go and check and see if there are any scraps left for us. These Wildstar Beta Keys are for April 4th through April 6th. Okay, all seriousness at the beginning of this video. Everything after this point, I'm either questioning or positive that it is a huge fake. There's some great posts up on MMO Champion about what's going on lately. I just can't even believe all the excitement that's happening. OMG. <clears throat> I'm a really bad actress, I think. I think if I was really trying, if I was trying, I, I, could, I could pull it off. They announced a new game called Blizzard Outcasts. It comes with a giant controller that kind of looks like an upside down Enterprise, and it has a dedicated card slot. Swipe for health. Blizzard Outcasts is about just those people. The outcasts. The rejects in World of Warcraft that nobody likes and nobody cares about or pays any attention to. And they fight each other. And stuff. If you couldn't tell by my earlier sarcasm, it's totally an April Fool's joke. Bah. And I, I kind of hate spoiling the April Fool's jokes here on my videos, but I gave it a day, right? I mean, it's April 2nd, so there's that. The other thing that is very obviously an April Fool's joke did seem to get some people that were honest in the comments about a long quest line that you could go through come Warlords of Draenor in World of Warcraft to switch factions without changing your race. So we'd have orcs running around Stormwind. I think maybe a few expansions from now, if they get real desperate, <laughs> that might be a thing. I don't, I don't foresee that happening though. Mm -mm. I mean, real desperate, like free to play desperate. Blizzard has their very own April Fool's joke on their web page, and it is not cool. It hit home with me for about a split second, and then I went, uh-uh, Blizzard is not gonna betray me like this. They posted some pictures on the new Draenei character model, and it is not, okay with me. Like, I can't even look at it. Although, <laughs> she she does look pretty funny. I will say, if Blizzard did this, I would most definitely race change my mage. Because Draenei is currently my favorite. If they ruined it that way, I might have to throw up all over the game and then maybe not play. Uh, God, I hope this really is an April Fool's joke because if not, I just 
committed to something that I don't know if I can do. It's probably especially funny to you guys to hear me talk about it because multiple videos in the past I have expressed that I am waiting ever so impatiently to see what they are going to do with the female Draenei. Yeah, no, they're, they're not gonna do the derpy face and chopping off the tails. That's just, that's the worst. So, hardy har blizzard, hardy har MMO champion, good April Fool's jokes. Unfortunately, I don't have any. I don't think I've ever successfully pulled off an April Fool's joke, but I hope you all are having fun doing your own, all you jokesters. Me, I just get to go to work and hope that nobody picks on me for April Fool's because I'm pretty, pretty easy to mess with, I think, depending on what it is. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Check back every Wednesday for news and gaming videos in between. I will not be live streaming this Friday night. Unfortunately, I work late. So I will try to make it up to you guys. I'm not sure when, maybe I'll pick another day of the week or the weekend. And I'm very sorry, but uh, yeah. Since I get off work earlier on Saturday, I might choose Saturday as that day, but it still won't be till like nine. Buh. Anyways, leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know why you liked or disliked this video, or if you had any comments about the topics I talked about today. And I hope that everybody has a great rest of the week. And I will see you next time. Okay? I love you all. Bye.